Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the online Arabic classes offered by Baitul Hikmah in the open. This is your brother Muhammad Anwar Khan Al-Qasmi, the managing director of the institute and the lead teacher in it. Today we will cover lesson number one of Al-Qira'atul Waziha, volume number one, and page number nine. So, Ad-Dars al-Awwal. Ad-Dars meaning, uh, lesson al-Awwal meaning, the first at darsul awwal the first lesson so before we start the main lesson you have to keep three points in mind these three points these three key points in your mind before you start the main lesson point number 1 in this lesson you have to learn about the use of hada dalika hadhi and tilka these four words which have been mentioned first in this lesson are basically demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns are known as asma'ul ishara in arabic so these asma'ul ishara they are designed to refer to something to point towards something to indicate towards something so their main function is to uh, Uh, make some indication towards something to refer to something to someone okay and hada is for uh, for ishara qariba meaning to indicate to something which is near which is close and dalika to indicate to something to refer to something which is far and uh, hada hada is for masculine dalika is also for masculine but hadhihi this is to refer to something which is nearby and this is for feminine and tilka this is to refer to something which is far and this is for feminine so hada dalika for masculine and hadhihi and tilka for feminine hada meaning this for masculine and dalika meaning that for masculine and hadhihi meaning this for feminine and tilka meaning that for feminine so this is the first idea this is the first key point you have to keep in your mind before you start this lesson okay and now the second point which i would like to explore is that in this lesson the author has given some small sentences and these small sentences are known in arabic as al jumla al ismiya al jumla al ismiya al jumla al ismiya literally is known as a nominal sentence a nominal sentence is a type of sentence that has a noun in the sentence and that is a complete sentence but these nominal sentences which have been given in this lesson they are basically uh, based on ismul ishara meaning each sentence will have a ismul ishara in the beginning they are nominal sentences al jumalul ismiya or jumla ismiya and each of them has ismul ishara so these sentences are composed uh, are structured by uh, ismul ishara a demonstrative pronoun and another noun this was the second point the third point as a beginner as a learner of as a basic learner of arabic you have to keep in your mind is that uh, when you see any noun and at the end of that noun you see a round ta which is known as ta marbuta that means that noun is a feminine in most cases again i'm repeating if you see a noun with a round ta which is known as ta marbuta at the end of the noun so that noun in most cases is a feminine so after you have known these three points you have kept these three key concepts in your mind i would like to start the main lesson bismillah hada meaning this for masculine dalika meaning that 
for masculine, hadhi meaning this for feminine, tilka meaning that for feminine. Kitabun meaning book, any book. Kitabun meaning any book and kalamun meaning any pen. Warakun meaning paper, any paper. Dawatun meaning any ink pot and kurrasatun meaning notebook and kursiyun meaning chair and maktamun meaning the table, writing table and mirsamun meaning pencil and minzadatun meaning uh, desk and saburatun meaning blackboard okay and these were individual words and after giving these individual words he is uh, going to give uh, complete sentences complete sentences of al jumalul ismiya uh, composed with ismul ishara and musharun ilay so hada kalamun this is a pen hadihi dawatun this is an ink pot hadihi minzadatun this is a this is a desk which we call as tipai in urdu dhalika varakun that is a paper tilka kurrasatun that is a notebook tilka saburatun that is a blackboard hada kursiyun this is a chair dhalika kitabun that is a book hada maktabun this is a table writing table dhalika mirsamun dhalika mirsamun that is a pencil okay ma hada what is this so you can say hada kalamun this is a pen maktabun this is a writing table kitabun this is a book so you can use hada with any of uh, these and with any other uh, uh, noun which is similar to them ma dhalika what is that dhalika kursiyun mirsamun maktabun that is a chair pencil or uh, writing table ma hadhi what is this hadhi kurrasatun this is a notebook dawatun ink pot minzadatun minzadatun desk ma tilka what is that tilka saburatun that is a blackboard kurrasatun notebook dawatun ink pot hal hada qalamun is this a pen naam yes hada qalamun this is a pen hal hada mirsamun is this a pencil la no hada qalamun this is a pen hal hadhihi saburatun is this a blackboard naam yes hadhihi saburatun this is a blackboard hal dhalika mirsamun is that a pencil naam dhalika mirsamun yes that is a pencil hal tilka saburatun is that a blackboard la no tilka min zadatun that is a desk so alhamdulillah we completed lesson number 1 and we hope that everything is clear in this assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh